Well, boy, oh boy, guys, do I have some crazy news for you. I mean, you know about all the Dr. Disrespect stuff that's happening, right? Well, in the, in the you know, Dr. Disrespect had his drama, and then it was crazy. Uh, he posted a tweet, uh, basically, you know, um, admitting to messaging a minor back in 2017, literally saying, yes, I, I ind had individual contact with, um, I, I had a contact with an individual minor. He posted a tweet about that, basically admitting to it. And, uh, you know, that kind of just a li subsided a little bit in terms of like uh, drama. There was like uh, 120 million people saw the tweet, I think. And then it kind of just got like buried by uh, the recent Mr. Beast and Ava Chris Titanson allegations that came out. But oh my God, do we have an update for you guys? Rather than an update, it's more like a what the what the heck kind of situation. Because if you look at Dr. Disrespect's Twitter, he has deleted the tweet. Here it is, here's his Twitter here, right, Dr. Disrespect. So actually, originally there was Dr. Disrespect live in 30 minutes on June 25th, this tweet here. And then right in between this tweet, which I'll get to in a second here, uh, in between these two tweets, there was another tweet that's had the big long thing about the Twitch ban, right? And uh, now it's just gone. He just deleted it. Like, uh, that just does not look good at all because he, you know, he, he basically admitted to a crime <laughs> and 120 million people saw the tweet and it had a crazy amount of impressions. Um, so I'm not sure what his thought process here is to be honest, but you know, I think he thought I think to Dr. Z disrespect I think what he's gonna do is probably just try to play it off like he's just gonna try to wait out the wait out wait out the drama Right. He's gonna wait until it basically clears So nobody like talks about it anymore because usually internet drama kind of goes away within like a year or two or something, right? And uh, I think that's the approach he's trying to take here. But seriously, man, I mean, 120 million people saw the tweet. And what are you gonna? What do you expect is going to happen if you just delete it? People are going to notice that. And yes, they did. Um, so first of all, that he deleted that tweet, which is crazy. Second of all, uh, there was another tweet uh, before he tweeted. He, be, bleh, before he tweeted. Before he deleted his original tweet, he actually tweeted out something. Um, something after that. Uh, after his original tweet before he deleted it, which was this tweet, which was just really in bad taste if you ask me because people have uh, People have seen this tweet and they were like, okay So he's basically like playing chess on this side and the person his opponent is playing checkers and chess is kind of uh, has an image of like a, a more of a uh, image of that adults play the game right and checkers is kind of like a kids game right so that already looks really bad in addition to that the if you look at the camera angle it's like below like his like uh, what's it called his below his uh chin so basically it looks like we're like a kid playing checkers against dr disrespect which is playing chess and that was just in really bad taste if you ask me and then some of the, I mean, as you can imagine, some of the responses to this tweet were pretty insane with this guy, washer, whatever, is, say, is saying, is this you playing with a minor? And then he actually responded to this, which is insane. Good one, she, her. The internet will never fix your real threat depression. So he's just kind of like, I don't know, he's going berserk at this point. But anyway, let's get back to the real sauce here. So he deleted the tweet, right? The, the, the basically damning tweet, uh, basically, solidifying his you know solidifying that he talked to my a minor uh back in 2017 he basically said yes to it he deleted that and then seven hours ago he posted this tweet saying vacation is just too good right now we'll be back soon enough champs we have lots to talk about yeah 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 yeah, yeah. so he's basically taking the route that i explained to you before so yeah basically he's trying to take the approach that i mentioned before where um i guess he's trying to take the he's trying to be like stay in the persona of Dr. Disrespect, which is, as the name suggests, he just disrespects everybody, that's his character, right? So he's trying to play into that character, I think. And then by playing into the character, I think he's trying to just wait it out until all the drama just subsides and nobody cares about it anymore because that's usually how the internet works, right? But in this case, it's a little bit different because it's like, you know, actually kind of illegal. Uh, well, it is illegal, right? He's talking to a minor. So that's some serious, like, damning allegations, basically, that he admitted that he admitted to, which basically just kind of sums it up there as we have all the evidence basically that he talked to the minor, but he deleted the tweet. I cannot believe that. That's like, that that was worse than the time where he actually edited the, edited the tweet and people caught people caught on to that, where he edited the, edited the tweet to not include the word minor, right? 
So people caught on to that and called him out for it. That was bad. This is even worse, I think. He's just upright deleted the tweet about the Twitch ban. And I think that's a really that's a really bad move by him because now people are just it just it just makes it so much worse. And I think that like I mean if you were gonna like try to wait it out, he should I mean I, you know the the Mr. Beast and Ava Chris Tyson drama is kinda taking everybody's attention right now but now he just drew the attention back to himself like what i mean i don't know what his strategy here is to be honest but apparently he's gonna come back soon and boy oh boy i cannot wait for that stream because i want to see what like i want to see what he's gonna say i really want to see what he's gonna say uh there's been so many videos made on him already with the allegations and it's just it's just a crazy thing man even if Dr. Disrespect comes back after all this with the, you know, YouTube stream, I, I just don't think people are going to support him as much as they did before. Like, they shouldn't. And I don't know why I, people are like this, but I keep seeing on Twitter and Reddit, like, people actually still defending Dr. Disrespect. Like, he didn't do anything wrong, okay? He messaged a minor, which is illegal. I don't know why people are defending him on Twitter and uh, Instagram, whatever, uh, YouTube, Twi name it, name it, whatever. Um, but people were defending him, saying like, uh, oh, the, the Dr. Disrespect's coming back, hell yeah, baby, we can't wait, let's go, never get brought down or whatever. You know, it's just really cringy and shitty stuff I see on the internet now, recently, and why, first of all, like, why, if you get so famous like that, you make so much money, why would you just waste it all, right? You get, well, it seems like to be happening a lot nowadays with famous people, uh, like Ava Chris Tyson. And, and Dr. first of all, Dr. Disrespect, then Ava Chris Tyson, but you know, there was other people like ED4P or whatever his name was, the cupcake guy. And it's just happening a lot with, with famous people online. And I cannot wrap my mind around why people would would do this, right? It's just weird. It doesn't it doesn't connect. It doesn't compute in my my smooth brain that's small and can't compute that well. And I still can't compute this because I don't, I, I mean, I can't imagine, like, if, if you have everything, everything in the world, dream career, money, family, stability, house, retirement, like, why would you waste it? I don't understand. Somebody tell me in the comments if you can wrap your head around why that would happen. Anyway, <laughs> I can't. So anyway, I just wanted to quickly do a video on this because I saw it come up my Twitter feed and I wanted to let you guys know about it because I've been following the drama uh the dr disrespect drama as well as the ava chris tyson and mr beast drama and uh, oh my god i mean mr beast we'll probably do a video on that like i did a video on ava chris tyson drama which uh you should check out on my channel um but i think we're gonna try to do a mr beast video too eventually in the future but i'm trying to wait until all the uh evidence comes out right because they're doing a bunch of uh, investigative work on it, I believe. So uh, I want to check it out when it when it all gets when it all gets like clear and every every card is laying on the table. Okay. <laughs> anyway, uh, thank you guys for watching. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you want to. It's free, free support. Um, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.